Wonder Mints. Why aren't passenger planes faster? Not long ago I flew from London to New Zealand. They lie directly opposite each other on the globe. It was a long flight, really long. I wondered, why don't planes fly faster? Why am I flying in a plane that's at least 40 years old when the private rocket company SpaceX is almost landing reusable rockets on drone ships at sea? Is it too much to ask for a little more from our passenger aircraft? Is there a good reason that things haven't made much progress? The speed of passenger planes hasn't changed much in decades. We still fly regularly on 747 jumbo jets which first flew in 1969, the same year that Neil Armstrong landed on the moon. But we've moved on from Apollo 11, so why aren't we using faster passenger planes? In some ways, speed is great. Mostly it's fast, so we get places sooner. But when it comes to engineering, it also presents problems. For one, going faster takes more fuel. As speed increases, so does air resistance or drag. If you're driving your car at 30 miles per hour and speed up to 60 miles per hour, your fuel consumption dramatically increases. This costs fuel and money. It's no different for aircraft, and the difference in fuel cost savings is huge. The drag produced is proportional to the square of the speed, so the drag increases exponentially as you get faster. Even though long distance aircraft travel at a high altitude, where the atmosphere is thinner and the drag is less, the increased fuel cost at higher speeds is still massive. Fuel makes up a third of the cost of running an airline, and plane manufacturers are working hard to make them more efficient. Apart from reduced costs, saving fuel also reduces carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide emissions, and produces less noise. So these are powerful reasons to keep flights slow. But is it too much to expect that planes can't improve when genetic modification, automated cars and reusable rockets are happening right now? The head of Airbus, one of the world's leading aircraft manufacturers, thinks that without significant advances in propulsion systems like hydrogen or electric engines, it seems unlikely that we can get around the current problems that prevent us from having long distance supersonic air traffic. Despite this, this company have developed an electric plane called the EFAN. It had its first flight on March 11, 2014. Another electric aircraft called Solar Impulse is currently making its way around the world. Scaling these aircraft up to carry hundreds of people may be some way off. While planes aren't getting faster, at least the entertainment systems are a little better. Thanks for watching Wonder Mints. Let us know what videos you want us to make and like, share and subscribe to see new videos every week.